Hey guys, it's Paul, Tarsi Phone Fighters. Welcome back for part two of uh, Project Supernova. In this video, we're going to continue on where we left off with the uh, basic construction of the airplane. So let's get into the video and see how it all went. Okay guys, I'm going to get started by um, taking some of this 3M cross weave strapping tape. And I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to basically go around the plane, around all the leading edges, and I'm going to try and join the uh, top and bottom layers of the weave um, with the strapping tape. And that will make it a lot stronger around the uh, leading edges and uh, stuff like that. And it will make the uh, weave a little bit stronger um, by joining the two sides also. So let me get started on that and we'll get back um, on the video after I get that finished. Okay guys, as you can see I finished putting the uh, cross weave strapping tape all the way around the edges of the wings, all the way around to the back and all the way back over on this side. And I also put some on the nose. This is going to make it a lot stronger. It's going to bond the two sides of the uh, fiberglass weave together. And one other good thing about putting the tape on the edges like this, it creates a good place to anchor the uh, colored sealing tape um, covering that we're going to put on the plane later. So uh, that's uh, one of the good steps that you can do to help bond that color sealing tape to the plane. So let me get on to the next part of the build. I'm going to get into uh, making the uh, motor mount. Okay guys, I'm getting started on the motor mount now. I've got an eighth inch plywood here and I'm going to cut out two squares that are roughly two inches by two inches. So those will fit, you know, the X mount pretty good. It fits right in there. Um, so let me cut those out and we'll get started on this motor mount. Okay guys, as you can see I've got the uh, two squares cut out, the two inch by two inch squares. And I also cut out some uh, longer strips. These are about a little more than a half an inch by four inches long. Um, now I'm going to be cutting some notches into the squares that these are going to insert into once it's uh, glued together. So um, these are a little bit offset from center so they'll fit in underneath the weave on the uh, main wing. So let me get into cutting those and then uh, we'll start gluing it together. Okay, I got all the uh, pieces from the motor mount all cut out now. I even put the notches in the two back plates. These are going to glue on top of each other like that. And then uh, these are going to go in vertical like that, two on the sides and then uh, one on the top. Um, after I glue these two pieces together though, I'm going to mark it up for the holes and uh, drill all the holes first before I put these on. And I'll also put in the, the uh, blind nuts on the back side. So let me get started on that and uh, we'll continue the video. Okay, I got the uh, main uh, motor mount back plate all glued together and the notches cut out. And I also put in the uh, um, blind nuts on the back side. Now I'm getting ready to glue in the uh, side tabs. So I'm just going to mix up some epoxy, lay it in there, and then I'm going to glue them in at 90 degrees up like that. So uh, let me mix the epoxy and start gluing it together. Okay guys, I got the motor mount pretty much done. It's all uh, epoxied together. Um, next I'll be cutting some slots in the back of the plane to slide the motor mount in. Um, these two um, long tabs here, they'll slide inside the plane. And this top one will basically just be uh, epoxied onto the top. And then eventually covered over with the um, tape and um, other covering. So that's how that attaches there. And then the motor mount will basically just mount right onto that. And uh, hopefully the motor will be nice and secure to the plane. Okay guys, I got the holes uh, cut in the back of the uh, fuselage here. And this is the way the motor mount is going to mount. I'm going to basically epoxy it in. It slides right in like that. And then the uh, top wood piece will be epoxy to the top of it. And as I mentioned before, it's going to be all covered up um, later when I get all the uh, colored sealing tape and everything. You won't even be able to see the uh, top of that motor mount. So, Okay guys, I got the motor all test mounted to the motor mount. Um, looks like everything went on pretty good. Um, one real important thing is you want to make sure that your motor is nice and level and parallel to the uh, straight edge of the wing here so it's nice and flat and level. If it's not you can use washers to shim the motor up or down whichever way you need to go. Um, just make sure it's nice and level when you do finally mount the motor. Okay next I'm going to be cutting out the uh, I guess thrust plate if you want to call it that um, out of balsa wood. This is eighth inch balsa wood. This is the uh, real thin wood plate that's going to go right behind the prop. Um, I wanted to make it nice and thin out of wood so it'll be a little bit less drag um, on the thrust. So let me get to cutting that out and then uh, we'll continue the video. Okay guys, I got the uh, thrust plate all cut out out of balsa, 8th inch balsa. And as you can see, I've also got these um, little wood uh, spars here that I cut. They're 8th inch by a quarter inch. Um, those are going to be epoxied into the side here like that. And those will supply a nice level place to mount 
this thrust plate on both sides and that's real critical when you're putting this in you got to make sure this is nice and level if it's at an up or down angle it'll be like a elevator and constantly causing your plane to either go up or down so you got to make sure that's nice and level and um, the reason why I'm putting this in is um, it really seems to lock the plane in flight and I think it really adds a lot to the flight characteristics of the way the plane flew it would probably add a little more drag and maybe make it a little slower but um, to get that overall flight characteristic of the original Nova Jet I really uh, want to put this in here so let me get, uh, continue on with the construction of it. I'm probably going to be adding some little fins on these lines here, like the original one. Um, that also makes it a little more stable, and it kind of creates a cool noise. Um, almost sounds like a jet when the uh, air is rushing over it. So let me get on to um, making that, and I'll continue on. Okay, guys, I got the wood pieces epoxied onto the side of the plane for the uh, mounting of the thrust plate. Now I'm moving on to um, cutting out the servo holes. I uh, kind of placed the servos over here and marked where they're going to go. Now I just need to cut out the uh, fiberglass weave around the red line and then I'll use the uh, welder hot knife tool to um, cut away at the EPP so the uh, servos will sit flush inside the back of the uh, main wing piece here. So let me get on to that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, I finished carving out the holes for the servos using the uh, welder hot knife here. Um, as you can see, the servos will basically just fit down flush into the back of the uh, wing here. So all I gotta do is glue them in now and they should be good to go. Okay guys, I got the uh, tail fins all cut out, or the vertical stabilizers. They basically have a little notch. They're gonna be uh, going on the side here, glued. Basically right there like that. There'll be one on each side. So those will be coming up. Now I've just started uh, doing the basic placement of the electronics on the plane. I'll get that all sorted out. And then uh, once I get them figured out where they're going, I'll be uh, using the Weller hot knife again to create some little pockets so all the uh, ESC and the battery will fit flushly inside the uh, fuselage. Okay guys, getting ready to cut out the elevons. Um, basically I'm just using the 8th inch balsa wood. So I'm going to cut these out and then I'll probably put some sort of strapping tape on top of them to make them even stronger. And then cover them with the uh, colored sealing tape for the last step. Okay guys, got the elevons all taped up um, with the uh, cross weave strapping tape. And also make sure you um, round off the edges with the sanding block. Um, especially the edges that are going to meet up with the back of the plane so that way it'll roll nice and uh, smoothly after we uh, make the tape hinges for the elevons. So let me get on to making the tape hinges and I'll show you how it looks after that. Okay guys, as you can see again I'm cutting out the uh, battery slot and the ESC slots in the top of the fuselage. I'm using the Weller hot knife again. I basically just use this to cut down through the foam. It works really good. Um, I'm probably going to have to take this battery tray all the way down to the very bottom and I may put a, a piece of wood on the very bottom just so I can get the battery set all the way flush in the bottom of the plane. So let me continue cutting and I'll show you how it works out after I get it all finished. Okay guys as you can see I cut out the battery slot it's all the way down through to the bottom. I'm probably going to put a, a small wood plate on the bottom side of the plane to uh, make the battery nice and secure. I left the uh, carbon fiber weave on the bottom layer that should hopefully help strengthen it. Um, but as you can see the battery will fit nice and snug and pretty flush right with the top. Then I'm going to make the canopy that goes right over the top. So everything's lining up. Got the uh, ESC in the plane also ready. Now I just got to make a spot for the receiver and then we should be good to start taping up the plane. Okay you guys got the uh, last of the electronics situated. I put another hole in the uh, top of the fuselage here to put the uh, receiver. So that's all nice and situated. As you can see, the two antennas will be coming out and they'll be at 90, 90 degrees uh, angle from each other. So you'll have a di diversity of the uh, reception of the signal. So um, that's pretty much the last part of putting electronics on. Now I'm going to get on to uh, installing the back thrust plate, the tail fins, and uh, taping everything up. Okay, guys, I add a real quick. Uh, wood plate on the bottom because the battery slot was cut all the way through to the very bottom layer so I just put that on to uh, cover up that uh, hole for the battery and it also acts as kind of a good uh, skid plate I guess and it's kind of like a spar almost too so it'll help stiffen the nose so uh, that's on there now I got everything on there I'm just going to start taping the plane up Okay guys, this is where we're going to leave off uh, for part two of the Supernova Jet project. Um, basically I got the plane mostly taped up. Um, I was in a real rush to get it finished for Sunday. Um, so Saturday night I didn't have a whole lot of time to video the taping of the plane. Um, I wanted to get it finished up so I could do some sort of a basic maiden flights with it. So this is where we'll leave off with this video. And uh, see part three. That's going to have the uh, 
made in flight of this plane as is here on the table.